السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی کلاس ان دی لاسٹ لیکچر وی اسٹارٹیڈ سمپل پریزنٹ ٹینس مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس آن دیٹ ویری ڈے وی ڈڈ ناٹ ٹچ دس ٹاپک سمپل پریزنٹ ٹینس انسٹیڈ وی لرن ٹو امپارٹنٹ ٹرمس دیٹ آر ریلیٹڈ ٹو دس سمپل پریزنٹ ٹینس سبجیکٹ اینڈ verb now today let's take up this topic simple present tense before going through this simple present tense you need to know what tense is or what tense means it indicates the time of an action my dear students it is quite obvious that if there is an action it can happen in the present or it has happened in the past or it may happen in the future past you know the time which has gone present you know the time which is going on right now and future the time which is yet to come you see this example i watch cartoons means at present it is my habit i watch cartoons i watched cartoons means here it is some kind of activity that i have already done in the bygone time so here this watched it shows that this action has taken place in the past time i will watch cartoons it means i have not watched them so far but now in future i am going to watch these cartoons i will watch the cartoons so here this will watch it shows us that this action will take place in future so my dear students you have learned that this tense it shows the time of an action means whether the action has taken place in present time or it has already taken place in past time or it will take place in future now let's start the main topic that is simple present tense my dear students all of you might have flown any kite in any year or any time of your lives and you know if you want to fly a kite you need to make the kite first so you should be knowing how to make a kite step wise what should be the first step what should be the next step likewise if you are writing any sentence in simple present tense or you are speaking any sentence in simple present tense you need to know the structure means which word should i use first then which word finally how should i end up my sentence so that sequence which you follow for framing any kind of sentence it is known as the structure it is known as the structure and here we do have have a structure for this simple present tense means if we want to write a sentence in simple present tense first we should write the subject subject which i told you earlier that it is the doer of an action or about whom we talk or speak then we should use the first form of the verb like in the last lecture we learned that first form of the verb can be singular or plural and i told you singular verb is verb plus s es or ies and plural verb is verb not ending in s es or ies then we should use the rest of the words again i'll repeat this structure the sequence that you should follow while making any sentence while writing any sentence in simple present tense it is subject plus first form of the verb and then the other words but here when you follow this sequence when you follow this pattern you have to keep three important rules in mind the first rule is singular subject takes singular verb means if the doer of the action if it is singular one or about whom you are talking if it is one if it is a singular subject then you should use a singular verb that means verb plus s es or ies next rule is plural subject takes plural verb it means if the subject who is doing the action or about whom you are talking if it is plural means more than one then you should use a plural verb that is the verb which is not ending in s or es or ies now the third important point is if the subject the doer of the action if it is i or if it is you in both the cases you should always use a plural verb that is the verb which is not ending in s es or ies my dear students let's go through some examples she eats food you see this she it stands for a single female so here we have used eats 
eat is a verb but we have added s to it so it becomes a singular verb and this she it is also singular so she eats food we eat food we you know that it is a pronoun used for many people so we is plural here we are using a plural verb eat that is the verb which is not ending in s e s or i e s third example i eat food i told you that if the subject is i or if it is you in both the cases you should use a plural verb that is the verb which is not ending in s e s or i e s next example he eats food you know he it stands for a male singular male person so here it is a singular subject so you have used here eats eats is also a singular verb now you see they eat food they is used for so many people it is a plural subject so here we have used eat eat is a plural verb it is not ending in s e s or i e s now the last example we eat food again this we it is used for so many people so it is a plural subject and we are using a plural verb with it eat it is not ending in s e s or i e s so here you can see that the structure the sequence that you have to follow when you write any sentence when you speak any sentence when you read any sentence in simple present tense the first thing you have to write is subject the next is first form of the verb then you have to write the other remaining words but when you use this sequence when you follow this sequence you have to bear three things in mind the first thing is if your subject is singular you will always use a singular verb that is a verb with s es or ies at the end now next rule is if the subject you are using if it is a plural one if it is more than one then you should use a plural verb and the last is if the subject is i or you you should always use a plural verb so my dear students today you learned simple present tense and you learned the structure the sequence that you should follow while framing a sentence in simple present tense and three important rules regarding this structure singular subject takes singular verb plural subject takes plural verb and i and you take plural verb hope you have understood this concept so inshallah we'll meet you in our next lecture till then take good care allah hafiz